Tonight is the opening of the 2009 Juried Student Exhibit at Queensboro Community College to be held through Friday, May 8th at the QCC Art Gallery. The show, celebrating a 20-year tradition of presenting advanced student artwork, will feature over 70 pieces created by some 50 students and will include animation, photography, drawing, painting, sculpture, ceramics, and digital art. Here with me to discuss their work, artistic passion, and plans for the future are students whose work are in the show, as well as Bob Rogers, Associate Professor and Chairperson, Department of Art and Design, and Javier Cambre, Assistant Professor. They will both offer their perspective on the importance of student exhibits and the particular variety of pieces shown in this show. Well, basically, a student exhibition or any kind of exhibition is a culmination. And for me, as well as for the students, it's just a way in which they can reevaluate what they have done and share with the public. For me, an exhibition is almost like a, a way in which you can see what you have been doing up to now, reevaluate it, and then decide how to move on from then. So the show should provide an opportunity for them to springboard and move on to something else. It could be that they move on to another school, it could be that they move on to transfer, and especially and ideally, it could be that they reevaluate their own work and decide which path to take from them. Art um, is ultimately a conversation, that it's a way in which people express themselves, put ideas and feelings into works that uh, other people can look at and share, so that although much of the process is solitary, where <clears throat> the, creates, the creative process in, that they, students engaged in and are prepared to, uh, to engage in and train for, there is still, at the end, the, the desire to share that work with others, to communicate what you've discovered in your journey, in your creative journey, and so that the uh, exhibit like this really becomes the opportunity for, the, the, for the, 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 the students and any artist to give voice to, to the community of uh, fellow humans that they live with about their vision of the world, of, of, the, of, of, their, of their lives, and of what means and what's meaningful to them. And I think that's really the importance of an exhibit. And I think students here have really something to say. And I think they've learned something about that process. And it really becomes a, a, a sort of full circle closing form of closure of the creative process and the teaching process to give them the opportunity to, to share their work with others and uh, there's in the Queensboro community, which is where they, you know, been spent many, many semesters and, and probably years. My name is Brian Chan. Uh, I'm a photography, photography major here at QCC. Um, and the piece that I have up in the exhibition is a portrait of the jazz composer Butch Morris. Um, we, I had taken that shot because Jules Allen, my professor, had brought Butch Morris here to take some pictures for the, a book he was putting out. And at the end of the whole ordeal, I decided to take some snapshots of him while, while, while I had the chance. Because here, here was this man who, who was a very amazing, very interesting man. Um, and I couldn't just pass up the opportunity, and I, had, and I felt like I, I was compelled to uh, take a picture of him, a close-up portrait. Tracy Lytell, I'm a digital art designs major. My portrait, I took two portraits. I took a portrait of my little brother and another one of my mother. Basically, my representative family. Last year, I had a, it was photography of people. We had to take pictures of people, and I thought it would be a lot, it would be nice to take pictures of my uh, parents, my parents and family, with a little bit more personal, especially my mother, because she like, she hates pictures and she doesn't like to be in them at all, so I thought it would be an achievement to get a really nice picture of her. staff members seem very impressed with the work. Seeing your work on the walls and knowing that other people can see what you have worked hard to do and see the passion in your photographs or your artworks, be it a sculpture or a drawing, it's a real wonderful experience to share your vision and the way you feel with other people through art.
without directly communicating to them. We wanted to make the whole show our own. We wanted to, for it to belong to us. We can call this our show and mean it without having to control, uh, attribute like the framing or matting or anything to a third party. Uh, the whole process of this, we, it took place in the photography room where all of us usually hang out because we don't have any lives and we just love seeing each other there. But Jules Allen, our professor, he, um, he guided us along. The process in which we went about framing and matting everything was very tedious. We had about five, six or seven students working together in sort of an assemb assembly line fashion. Um, we had some students uh, measuring the photos and then measuring the boards in which we had to cut a window for, to, for it to be matted. And then we had, actually, we had some students cutting the boards and then we had some students cleaning and dusting everything. And it was just a very uh, meticulous operation that took about, how, Charles, how long did it take? Like a week or so, do you think? Actually, it took about the uh, better half of two, two weeks to have everything mounted and uh, cut, mounted, and ready for the exhibition under the guidance of uh, Jules Allen, our professor, and his assistant, or another professor, uh, Kenny, Kenny Durkovich. Uh, we managed to mount everything ourselves. We cut all the boards ourselves, measured everything ourselves, and put everything in the frames ourselves. Um, we were talking about the uh, f photographs only. The other artwork was done by somebody else. We had the option of um, sending it out to have it professionally mounted by someone else, but we decided to do it ourselves. It's a part of the challenge. My name is Anna Wilga, I'm a liberal arts major. Me personally, I love to draw people versus still lifes and plants and things like that, although I do enjoy it, but I just feel like it's more personal when it's with another person, them drawing you or you drawing them. It just, you can connect on so many different levels. And for me personally, I feel like when I look into a person's eyes, like I could really, really draw who they really are as opposed to just some person you see. With a, with a drawing, it's just, Personal, you can look at it and feel like you actually know the person.